Hey viewers, this is Fernando from SkyFi Audio. Today I'm going to do a quick video on the Sulu's Media Streamer and why, um, why I think it's such a great product for the audiophile community. Um, it is a bit outdated. Um, it's been around for a long time and it's, it's an end-of-life product. This has been certainly sur sur surpassed and replaced by iPads and tablets. But um, this piece, in my opinion, is uh, sort of a secret audiophile component that has a very specific crowd, but that would be pretty appreciative to have it. So I'm gonna go over some of its features, functionality, and, and how it all works. So the top unit here is the Control 15. It's a touch screen with a CD ripper and some basic storage built into it. And while the unit below it, the Media Drive 600, is the actual storage unit for large storage. Uh, this particular unit uh, has two hard drives in it, I think two terabytes each. And so it's actually configured for a total of four terabytes, which is quite a bit of storage for medium to low res files. So an original concept was to utilize this system with uh, many other Meridian components in a, maybe a multi-zone setup or a single listening room. But um, it is actually a great unit on its own. And it's a great, great kept secret in the, uh, in the Meridian world. Um, mostly because it works so well with your existing stereo. It has a digital output. So connecting this to your existing stereo just requires a single coax output going to a DAC. And you'll probably have a DAC of some sort already. Here we just picked this little one from Cambridge Auto because we had it kicking around for this demo. But it could go into just about any DAC that you might have. So, as mentioned, the top unit is a controller, touchscreen, and the bottom is the storage unit. And the first reason I love this unit is for its size. It is a very, very large display and very easy to read. Much, much better than any iPad or tablet would be. It's also very responsive to the touch um, and very intuitive. The Sulu uh, software system has been around for a long time. It's been refined over many, many years. and. Uh, just about anyone can learn to use it within just a few minutes. Um, this particular unit is, uh, came to us for a client who took great care in, in loading a massive library of, of CDs into it. And if we go into its settings, we can quickly tell that we've got um, 621 artists, 1,800 albums, and 24,000 tracks of mostly classical, I'm sorry, classic rock music. Now, going back to the connections, I failed to say both of these units uh, need to connect to each other via a network connection. Just a regular home network would work, just an Ethernet switch. Um, and that's nice is that the, the media drive itself doesn't have to be anywhere near the Control 15. This could be in your basement next to your router, and this could be up in your listening room. Because the only things you need access to are the touchscreen and the CD drive, which is built right here. So a little history on what's happened lately with the Sulu's is that it used to be able to do a bunch of streaming services as well. So it was a great tool for even a modern audiophile, but um, Tidal, for example, which is our favorite streaming service, is no longer accessible through this. But um, a nice added bonus is that we're able to reach and utilize um, a tune-in radio, which essentially gives you access to radio stations from all over the world pretty easily. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if I go back to Explore Music, and I go into channels, I've got TuneIn Radio. And for example, you could go to either just pick a local station, which would come over the internet, or you could pick a European station, just about anything from all over the world. Um, so if you live far from New York City and you wanna get our local jazz station, there's no better, easier way to do this. Now, you could certainly do it from your iPhone, you could do it from a modern streaming device, but this, is present a, this presents a much easier accessible interface. And 
unlike an iPad, it's always ready to go. One of my pet peeves about using an iPad for a streamer is that iPads are usually used for a bunch of things, right? So um, half the time, the battery's not gonna be charged, or it's gonna be in sleep mode, or it's gonna prompt you from some, some annoying upgrade, or it's gonna ask you for your password, which you've forgotten one more time. Um, this thing is just always ready to go, while iPads and iPhones are generally get in the way. Um, even I've tried using my iPhone, for example, to stream music, and it's always distracting. Texts are coming in, the phone is ringing, and uh, it's just not the best tool, for, at least for me. And I suspect that there's a bunch of audio files out there that just don't want to be tied to an iPad or an iPhone while they're in their listening room. They really just want an experience that is purely about the music, not about all the other stuff that happens on those devices. So let me go over a bit more about how easy it is to function or to utilize this. Um, hitting the Explore button gives you access, as I said, to the local stations. Uh, for example, I'm going to pick something out of Austria, Bergenland, and I can just go ahead and do that. I'm sorry, I hit the wrong button. Play channel, and that's all it takes to get a station from Austria. All right, and then going back to our music collection, which sits here in my library, I can even do the, a search, a search for artists, to Pink Floyd. It's right here, and it's that easy. I can just hit metal, play album, and that is all it is. It is now playing. It's now playing one of these days. So it's also pretty quick in terms of searching for things and accessing tracks. All right. And of course, it found all the results from Pink Floyd. This particular owner must have been a fan because there's at least 10 albums here from Pink Floyd. So super easy to use and super responsive. I wish you could kind of experience what it's like. It's not like some of these older touch screens where every button press has to be do done twice or three times. This thing picks up just about every touch within it. Okay, um, so going back to explore, I did a search just now and I can also just um, browse by artist. Here's alphabetical AC3C for example. So if I wanted Alanis Morissette, that's all it is. I hit play and off it goes. Over here I've just pressed the Q button and it shows me essentially what is queued to play. You can see I've got the Pink Floyd down below and the new tracks from Alanis Morissette that were added to the top of the queue. Pretty simple. Um, over here, it's going to express our quality of the CD. It's a FLAC uh, 44.1 kilohertz at 16 bit. Most of the recordings are about the same quality as you would find on a CD. But you could, over a network, upload to here MQA or any other sort of high resolution file that you'd want it to a certain degree. So, but that's really not its strength. Its strength is, is ripping CDs, accessing an established music library, and, and ease of use. Let me see if I can show you what it takes to rip a CD. I'm gonna grab one from somewhere. I'm going to look at our shop while I go look for a CD. All right. Stevie Ray Vaughan, it is. So back to the Sulus. And it really just couldn't be easier. You pop in the CD. And the Sulus controller scans it, goes out into the internet and finds all the metadata and the stuff that you need so you don't have to mess around with, with all sorts of, you know, finding the album art or you know, separating the tracks. This is a very intelligent system. See, as you can see it detected. It's a Stevie Ray Vaughan, um, the complete Epic Recording Collection studio version. Got the release date, album cover. All I've got to do at this point, well, here I can visualize the tracks. 
Make sure I like the genre that it's in. Credits, labels. I mean, talk about just instant access to everything you need to know about this album. So I hit continue here and that it's all. It'll start scanning, takes about five minutes to scan a CD. Um, and I could have been playing music in the background. I didn't have to interrupt what we're doing to rip a CD, which is also really nice. So obviously this can be integrated into a Meridian system. If you've got Meridian speakers, that's another real nice way to set this up. A uh, full-blown system consisting of essentially just the Sulu's controller and a pair of Meridian powered speakers. And now you've got a, a sort of two-piece wonderful solution for a listening room or a living room or secondary zone. In this case, we went all out. So we went from the Sulu's to a DAC, from a DAC to our Karyote preamp, which is sitting right here, and to our one of our audio research amplifiers below connected to a T plus A, I'm sorry, um, illuminated speakers. Um, so this really is just acting as a streamer in addition to the other sources that we might have on here. Um, that's about it. Another thing worth mentioning is sort of the quality of this thing. It's, it's made out of uh, some sort of aluminum, super, super grade, high grade stuff. Um, it's very responsive. Connections are very simple. All we've got here is a network connection, a power, and the output from the digital output. And then the storage unit below, the only connections there are the ethernet network and the power cord. So it really couldn't get any simpler than that. All right, so that's it. The Sulu's Control 15 with the Meridian um, Media Drive 600. Uh, this is up on our website, I believe, for sale. Uh, and quite a bargain considering the amount of music and effort and love that went into creating this music selection. So, uh, and along with, that, with a great controller and, and drive, you'll get uh, a pretty massive uh, classic rock collection to go with it. Um, this is SkyFi Audio from Glen Rock, New Jersey. Uh, you can visit us online at skyfiaudio.com to see this great product, this well as all the other stuff that you've spotted maybe in, while I went to get a CD. This is all mostly listed online. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. It'll keep us motivated uh, to keep bringing you these videos. And uh, drop us a note below if you have any questions about this product or anything else that you might see. Thanks for watching.